Abraham. You know, I think of Naaman. Naaman was a high-ranking fellow who was afflicted with leprosy. <laughs> and the prophet was one that was subject willingly to God's agenda. Now Naaman knew the prophet and Naaman wanted to get cleansed with leprosy and he sent word to the prophet and uh, the prophet didn't do what Naaman thought he should have done. Right. See, Naaman thought the prophet should have came, you know, just lay hands on him and pray and whatnot. And, but that wasn't God's agenda. God's agenda was, I'm going to break Naaman's pride. Take him out of his comfort zone. You know, sometimes God's method is designed not to make you comfortable. Because the wisdom of God, once he see we are already too comfortable, then God step in. Praise the name of God. In his great wisdom. And bring something. Make it happen. To disrupt, disturb your comfort zone. Amen. Amen. And it can be God will. Naaman thought to wash in bodies of water of his choice. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him. Listen at this quickly and then I'll get to the foundation of where we're going. Quickly in 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 10. Follow me. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan. Jordan River had a reputation then like it have now. Right. Filthy. Dirty. You don't find nobody with a custom-made dress or suit or mink coat want to go step down in mud. Right. But look at God's agenda. God says through the prophet, go and wash in Jordan seven times. Go wash in Jordan. Don't just dip and get out quick. N no. Need you to be there a while. <laughs> That's Glory right. Glory to God. That's right. Be there a while until you come to yourself. Go wash in Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again and to thee. And you will get healed. And thou shalt be clean. And but Naaman was wroth. Naaman. Glory to God. That's us. That's right. Naaman was angry. And when Naaman away. was upset, mm -hmm. we would say Naaman was mad. That's right. He was angry and upset because what he was expecting to happen uh -huh. did not happen. That's right. Uh -huh. But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought. Ha! Ah. <laughs> right then. That make you fall back on Bible. That's right. Because God said, My thoughts are not your thoughts. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. My way is not like yours. That's right. And that scripture stands now just as good as when it was spoken. That's right. Listen at this. Behold, I thought he would I surely come out thought. to me. Notice the language of scripture. I thought. That's the kernel mind exercising itself. That's right. I thought that he will surely come will out to come me. He will come on out to where I am. Why? Why? I'm naming. That's right. I'm used to folk catering to me. That's right. I hear that prophet going, well, he won't even come out. That's right. He's telling me, oh, just go down there and watch him seven times. You'll get clean. Mm -hmm. and Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me. Yes. And stand and call on the name of the Lord his God. I thought he'd stand and just start praying. That's right. Lord, help this leopard man. That's right. Free him and heal him. Mm -hmm. And strike his hand over the place. Strike his hand where I'm afflicted at. And recover the leper. Yes. Are not a banner and for par rivers of Damascus. Notice how he recommended. Mm -hmm. He recommended other bodies of water that, were, that knew he knew he was clean. That's right. That he felt as though those waters was good enough for him and he was good enough for them. You see God mind? That's right. Yeah. God brought what Naaman did not want and God knew it. That's right. That's the way God do with us. Oh, yes. God make a thing happen that you wouldn't want to happen. That's true. To do what? Mess up your comfort. That's right. Interfere, glory to God, with your pride. Yeah. Let you know that God has an agenda. 
That's right. And you have won. And somebody got to give in. That's right. And I'm telling you right now, it'll never be God. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. It'll never be God. Oh, no. God ain't never, never. You will never get God to tap out. No way. Amen. You can't put God in no submission hole. <laughs> what he say to come to pass. That's right. Amen. Come on, son. Are not Abana and Fapar rivers of Damascus uh -huh. better than all the waters of Israel? Yes. May I not wash in them and be clean? Can I go wash in those bodies of rivers and get myself killed and get clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. That's us. That's right. I would like to have my way. God said, no, you ain't. That's you, viewer. That's right. God said through the scripture, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, you say, can I bow my head and raise my hands and be clean? <laughs> That's right. Can I join the church of my choice and be clean? Yeah. Can I pray a sinner's prayer and be clean? Can I just uh, get a dry clean? Can I just touch the television? That's right. And be clean? And can't God just come in my heart that way? That's right. Mm -hmm. May God I has an agenda that's outlined in the scripture and not even God himself will permit himself that's right. to go opposite from what's written in scripture. That's right. Why will God not do it? Because he will not tell us to believe what he go opposite of. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Listen. So he turned and went away in a rage. Got upset. And his servants came near and spake unto him. Hey, listen. Now I want you to listen at the wisdom of the servants talking to their master, old Mr. Naaman. And said, my father. My father. If the prophet if had bid thee the to do some great thing. would have told you to do something great. You know, something that would make you more popular. Wouldest thou not have done it? <laughs> many are the same way now. That's right. To many people, it is beneath them to serve the Lord. That's right. It is beneath them. That's right. To get on their knees and pray to the God of heaven. That's right. Too rich. Too rich. Too popular. If they go to church, they feel as though they're doing God a favor. That's right. Can you imagine the hellion? <laughs> Use a hellion. Amen. Imagine you doing God a favor. Lord. Let me tell everybody under the sun, God don't need nobody. <laughs> That's right. He was God before creation. That's right. Before he separated light from darkness and gave the sea her decree. Before he laid the beams of the chambers in the waters, he was God. He was God. Before there were any angels, he was God and had peace. That's right. Didn't have no problems on earth. <laughs> Until he made old hellion man. That's right. Thank God in every since man came, man been problematic ever since he arrived. Amen. Even right now, man live and breathe by God's permission. He survived by God's permission, not by his own accord, like he want to believe in his arrogant nature. That's right. You walk, Talk, sit, drink, all by God's permission. That's right. But yet you're too high-minded. Too high-minded. And you're too self-exalted. Mm. But it is written, the lofty looks of man shall be brought low. That's right. And the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down. Oh, yeah. And the Lord alone shall be exalted. In that day. Read quick, Williams. My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, uh -huh. wouldst thou not have done it? Wouldn't you have done it? How much rather than when he said to thee, wash and be clean? How much rather when he told you God's agenda That's right. to wash and be clean? Then when he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Oh, he waked up. They talked some sense into him. That's right. You know, sometime it take a while before people see the light. <laughs> That's true. Amen. That's true. Take a while for some people. <laughs> some you ain't got to fight with them. That's right. Then there are some that are so wicked, so hard-headed, so stubborn, 
They want to tamper with God's agenda. That's right. If you're wise, you come on back and do it the way God says it. That's why you hear me declaring to the world with God's help, come back to the Bible. Yeah. That's right. Come on back. What am I telling you? Come back to God's agenda. Yeah. Name it out of all his anger, out of all his frustration, yeah. out of all his pride. He didn't get clean until he was fully compliant, 100% with God's agenda. That's right. Do you hear this? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. Then what? According to the saying of the man of God. What? According to the saying of the man of God. He got clean according to what? According to the saying of the man of God. Hear me, world? <laughs> Amen. Nobody here, here, here Amen. will get right, born again, saved from eternal hell. That's right. Until they do it according to, the to God's agenda That's that right. comes from the saying of God's man, That's from right. the word of God. That's right. You can hate God, man, all you want. All you can you hate want. that man. You can misunderstand them, you can misrepresent them, but the word of the Lord hmm. is in the mouth of the man of God. That's right. That's don't right. like him, you don't have to like him. Right. Right. Amen. There's not a man of God that God ever sent that you have to like. Amen. Did you hear me? That's true. There's not one man that God ever had sin or will sin. Not even God required you to like him. No. You have to love him. <laughs> That's right. But you got away, didn't you? <laughs> That's right. You have to love him. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. You remember when we debated Mr. Israel, the gentleman that had the dreadlocks in the shades? Yeah. Man, he called the church and left a threatening message for me. Hmm. Amen. Called me uh, this and the that. He got so upset. He said, I'm a transgender. Mm. I'm a transgender. Last time I checked, I got all the right pieces. Right. I really do. I got all the right pieces. That's right. In the right places. In the right places. Amen. He, he want me dead. My Lord. And uh, he want to take Pastor Jennings off the planet. Amen. He ain't the first one that threatened me. You got to stand in line. That's right. I have declared to the world by heaven's authority. Now, I know that made folk upset. Oh, yes. Where did you get your authority from? Jehovah, Moses, God. That's right. That's where I get mine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. That's where I get mine from. Yeah, That's right. I have been threatened for years. You have threatened to cut my tongue out. Organizations have threatened to hang me from trees. I, they have threatened to bomb my house. They have threatened to bomb the churches. My Lord. I don't care. That's right. That's right. That's right. That, them threats don't bother me. No. Yeah, man, they, don't, they, don't, they don't count here. No. I am sent to do the will of him that sent me. That's right. That's what I'm sent for. That's right. Amen. Amen. You ain't looking at someone that flinge, that cringe over threats. No. I've been threatened for so long until it's cobwebs on them. <laughs> I'm not moved at all. No. Amen. I done had folk that used to be members here uh -huh. that have backslid uh -huh. and turned around and threatened me in return. Amen. Amen. Pastor Jennings don't, they don't threaten the false prophets. No. no. Why? Because the false prophets don't have a message from heaven no. that disrupt the peace of the world. That's right. Yeah, may God. That's right. Amen. 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 You, you remember this message. Do not interrupt yeah. God's agenda. That's right. All right, I want to work on the scripture exact no more but than upon you. Before I do, let's get this wonderful baptism report. Mm-hmm. One week's report. People are still rejoicing over the one month report we read. Oh, yes. uh, last week, 925 yeah. souls in one month. Amen. 
All right, 14 in headquarters, 6 in Bronx, New York, 10 in Baltimore, 3 in Rotting, North Carolina, 1 in Rocky Mountain, 3 in Charlotte, 1 in Charleston, 3 in Washington, 1 in Columbia, 9 in Atlanta, 10 in Mobile, 2 in Jackson, Mississippi, 4 in Memphis, 3 in Nashville, 5 in Orlando, 1 in Lafayette, Louisiana, 5 in Houston, 8 in Los Angeles, 1 in Sacramento, 2 in Santa Rosa, California, 2 in Milwaukee, 7 in Detroit, 1 in North Chicago, 12 in Indianapolis, 1 in Minnesota International, 1 in Germany, 3 in Birmingham, England, total 119 for one week. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amen. One received the Holy Ghost, I believe, in Nashville. Several, several, several received the Holy Ghost down there in Houston, Texas. Wonderful. Nice. Nice. Well, the power of God is still falling, and the devil is still angry, and the world still want your brother, Pastor Jennings, dead. Amen. Well, it fulfilled the scriptures because they wanted the prophets dead, and they killed some. That's right. And they wanted the apostles dead and they killed some. That's right. Why do they want me dead? Not because I've done wrong by them. No. But because the message. The message. It's the message. I am not the message. That's right. I am the messenger of the message. That's it. Getting mad at the wrong one. That's right. Yeah, right. man, don't get mad at the mailman man because he give you a nine thousand dollar light bill. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. No need to go throw bottles and rocks at him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's you right. better call Pico or whatever light service is in your company. That's right. that's right. Now let me say this before I go to work: to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the truth of God follows. Uh, we have a commission, a convention committee team also, a, which have brought into also a photography team and a journalistic team that I may add. Uh, the purpose of the journalistic team, they make reports on what's going on in the different locations and kind of work together with the photography team who take photographs of different church events thing that's going on so in other words we get different all locations involved in documenting uh -huh. what's going on for the historic archives of the church so we have a lot of things to look back on years to come so whenever you see any brothers or sisters and they let you know what committee they're from taking pictures of that event all ministers don't interfere with them they don't need your permission minister they got permission from the overseer. That's right. They don't have to ask you, can they do the report or can they take the pictures? They're doing their job that they've been assigned to, like you're supposed to do your job that I assigned you to. Yes. Your job is the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Cameras should not be of your concern. That's right. Till the apostles declared, they don't even have a reason to leave the word of God to serve tables. That's right. So you ministers, you leave the brothers and sisters alone. That's doing their job. And uh, why would you, any minister, be holding up any photographs that brothers or sisters are taking? What time do you have to be interested in photographs when you should be focusing on sharpening your skill? As a minister. That's right. Delivering God everlasting word. That's, That's right. right. Stay in your place and do what you've been assigned to do. And let them do what they've been assigned to do. That's right. Amen. 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 Pastor Paul said, I said everything in order when I come. That's right. And uh, I, I have came and I've been here now. Tomorrow will <laughs> be three weeks. And I have a lot of things to set in order. Yeah. You ministers, just leave the brothers and sisters alone that's doing their job so you don't interfere right. with the work of the church. You know you can help the work of the church or interfere with it. That's right. And if you interfere with the work of the church in any area, 
Now you're tampering with God's agenda. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now to all ministers' wives uh -huh. around the world. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, now. Whenever there's a sister's meeting and there are mothers in the church, which are the age women, yeah. in that meeting, no minister's wife shall ever say anything disrespectful in that meeting, That's right. especially to the mothers sitting present. That's right. Please don't think because you're the wife of a minister that may be in charge of that location that you all of a sudden is the first lady <laughs> of that location. Not even my wife think that way, That's and right. she's the wife of your overseer. That's right. You're the wife of, if I use the term, of a student minister. That's right. A student minister. That's right. Please don't let your wifiness, if there's such a word, <laughs> you know, because I have a way of coming up with things. <laughs> Don't look it up in, Dick, in Dick, <laughs> Webster. You know, may not be in, in Webster, you know. <laughs> not, not, yet. Not, not yet. Take note of it. First heard it here. That's right. <laughs> but please don't get so caught up in your wifiness that you think you can disrespect the mothers. Right. Let me say to all the mothers, uh -huh. I don't care if it is a minister who's ministering in the pulpit of your location wife. If she get out of pocket and an all sisters meeting, you mothers, don't you allow that meeting to go on or close without putting that sister in her place, even if she's the minister's yeah. wife. Amen. Come on, right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. Don't let you, your place as being the wife to a minister in charge, go through your head. No. Like you shooting up with heroin. Amen. 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 You mothers, it doesn't matter if it's the minister's wife. Put her in check. Don't you let her talk to you any type of way. That's right. You ain't no child. You a mother. That's right. Exercise your authority. Put her in her place. Amen. As a mother in the church, you also got the right to set her down. Amen. Even if she's the wife of a minister, you got the right Amen. to set her down. Amen. And if she on an auxiliary and don't want to repent, you got the right. I take her off the auxiliary and the minister. If the mother reprimand your wife and your wife refuse correction and the mother set her down, Amen. don't you put her back up. That's right. That's right. Don't you put her back up. Don't you get up in a pulpit to protect your wife. You don't protect sin That's in right. no form, even if it comes from your wife. Amen. The right. Bible says, he that has respect a person. Commit sin. Commit sin, Commit and sin. that includes your wife. That's right. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old man? Amen. When the Lord made me an overseer, he made me that. Yeah. I don't cater to nobody. I cater to Bible. Amen. Oh, so you mothers, it doesn't matter if this is the minister's wife. Put her in check. That's right. And if there was a meeting took place and any minister's wife disrespect the mothers or disrespect the sisters, then you go to her and get her right. You're right. And if she don't want to submit to correction, then take her before the minister. And if the minister is her husband, 
it shouldn't be a conflict of interest. That's true. That's right. That's true. Because he had to judge it with Bible. That's right. Oh, yeah. And when you use the Bible, that eliminates conflict of interest. Amen. You ministers feel as though it's a conflict of interest when someone bring a complaint against your wife and your wife is wrong and you feel as though you can't handle the matter without showing a little favoritism. Get out of the pulpit right now. It's 127 Eastern Time. It's 1227 Central Time. Get out the pulpit right now. Amen. You're not fit. Amen. Anytime you got respect a person, Commits you're me. not fit. That's no. right. To preach That's to right. nobody. That's right. Amen. Don't tamper. Amen. With God's agenda. That's right. Right. Amen. This message fell on me early this morning. Wonderful. Mm. Uh, hallelujah. Do it. Early this morning. It fell on me. Lord. Don't tamper mm. with God's agenda. Amen. All right, follow me and hear me. Now, I want you to get this. Get this. That goes for all the ministers. I don't care who your wife is. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. You mothers, do your job. Don't be afraid to do your job in your, your location. But that's the minister's wife. I don't care if it's Gabriel's twin sister. Amen. Thank God if she got a hat made from the wings. If, if Gabriel got wings. If, if, if Gabriel got wings made from gold feathers and she got a hat made from his feathers and she wiped her face with a feather, a feather handkerchief. If a shoe, if she got two wings to cover her feet. My Lord. Two wings <laughs> to cover her hands. Two wings to cover her face. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's right. I'm a man that refused to tamper. That's right. With God's agenda. That's right. I understand the danger and the importance of never tampering with God's agenda. You remember what we read earlier about Naaman? Mm -hmm. What did Naaman say? I thought. I thought. I thought that the man of God would come out. Not to me. To me. That's right. God told him through the prophet, you go wash in Jordan seven Jordan. times. Naaman had an agenda. Yeah. God had one. That's right. I'm going to lean to God's agenda if I get enemies from around the world. That's right. And as it stands now, I'm telling you, there are benefits if you're willing to hear your brother. Oh, yeah. There, hallelujah. There are benefits if you just stick to God's agenda. That's right. You don't have to understand it. But God said, consider what I said. Consider. Over to God. Don't, don't go, don't approach God's agenda from your feeling, from your heart, by your emotion. That's right. Just don't tamper with it. That's right. You know, the Lord says, touch not my touch anointing. Not my anointing. Do my prophet, do my messenger no harm. No don't harm. bother him. That's it. Leave God's agenda alone. That's right. All right, Williams. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Amen. All right. Let's yeah. dive into the Bible and Hear the message now. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 3, we'll start at verse 12. Follow me and get this. Luke, chapter 3, and we're beginning at verse 12. Yes, you brothers, y'all can raise the windows up more and whatnot. Get some more air in here. Mm -hmm. Come on, brothers. All right, let's have it. Then came also publicans to be baptized. Then came publicans to be baptized. And said unto him, Master, what Master, shall we do? What shall we do? Now, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. this is what all of you should ask. Yes. You all should want to know what should I do and what can I do That's it. to be compliant to God's will. That's right. What, pay attention, should I do and what can I do right. to be compliant with God's will? Understand this? God's will is going to outlast you. Oh, yes. When you are dead and gone, you better not want God to reflect or anything pertaining to his will mm -hmm. that should have been wrought in you that you tampered with. That's right. You better not even speak against God's agenda. That's right. You better not even think you against think God's against. agenda. That's right. But the Bible says the very thought of foolishness. If you, if you think that which is according to Bible 
uh, it's foolish, you foolish. sin. If you just think you sin, think if you it. think of it the wrong way, you sin. That's right. The Bible said the very thought of foolishness is sin. It's sin. Huh? In the book of Proverbs 24 and verse 9. It is. The thought of foolishness. What? The thought of foolishness is sin. That's why our mind is no good. Mm -hmm. He come along and say, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Jesus didn't have a foolish mind. No, he didn't. That flesh and blood body that was called the son of God, born of the woman Mary from the tribe of Judah, from the house of David, from the offspring of Abraham. It was subject to God's agenda. That's right. It was so subject until he declared, I do always. That's right. Those things that please. Please him. 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 Nice. You know, we don't see something or don't agree with it. We make it our business to try to make it wrong. You better be careful. That's true. You'll be tampering with God's agenda. That's right. Like you out there watching, you can't see that there's one God. Mm -hmm. You think it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three persons in a Godhead. And you got all type of religious fellas all over social media yelling about Pastor Jennings with this one God. <laughs> Amen. This one coming out the woodworks. I want to debate him. He, he don't believe in the Trinity. All mm -hmm. you got to do is show me in the Bible. Listen, I can see plainly where the Bible says Bible. Mm -hmm. there's one God. one God. There's no God with him. That's right. I can see where it says there's no God besides him. That's right. I can see so plain where it says there's no God before, no him. God before him. And I also can see in the Bible written so plain, neither shall there after be him. any after him. after him. I can see that plain. That's right. All I'm asking if there are three distinct persons in the Godhead, like you liars been saying, <laughs> just show the scripture right. where it says there are three separate, separate and distinct personalities in the Godhead. When you put that sleeper hole on me yeah. with, Bible, with the Bible, I'm going to tap out. That's right. That's right. I'm going to tap out. That's right. That's all you got to do. You can make all your podcasts and get over social media. Pastor Jennings is an antichrist. Pastor Jennings is a liar. Pastor Jennings is a fortified false prophet. <laughs> call me whatever you like. You, know, you can call me a bowl of rice crispy, but I'm a snap, cracker, and pop Bible on you. That's right. Come on back to Bible! That's it. That's it. Thank God this is the strongest message in the earth yes. today. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 